Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle, and I'm going to show you how to get 150 email subscribers fast. You can get them today. But before I show you that, I want to show you four other ways to help you build your email list up to the thousands, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. While I'm going to show you the quick way to get a few to get you started, it's important that you put these other systems in place so that you can continue to keep adding high quality email potential leads and clients to your email list now for those of you that aren't sure why we even need a new an email list i'm going to tell you very quickly because that's not what this um, video is about but in general an email list is what people collect when they when they give you when you're on the internet and somebody offers you something for free let's say somebody says i'm going to offer you these seven recipes or 30 days of recipes that help me lose weight and you go oh i want that for free so you give them your email and they give you the free thing. Well, now you're on their email list and all of a sudden you're gonna notice that you're getting emails from them, which we call a newsletter, and they're gonna keep talking to you, keep giving you free things, free content, and every once in a while they're gonna say, hey, I noticed you like the free recipe book, how about my exercise program? So they keep offering you more and more. Now, as the buyer or as the person that got the email, you always have an option to opt out of the email so you can always unsubscribe legally you have to have that on there but in general that's what that is it's a way of marketing and a way of selling your product or your services and actually it's very very effective but it does take time to build your list i'm going to show you four primary ways that people are building their list but again there's systems that have to be in place and then on the fifth one i'm going to show you how today you can get some emails added to your list so you feel like you have some to get started with and it, you can get 150 i promise you all right number one we call an opt-in and basically what i was just telling you about this is an opt-in that i have um, i use a funnel it's called a sales funnel and i offer a free ebook it's 40 pages long and it's um, a free affiliate marketing guide um, a four-step plan people can opt in to get that they push this button and look what pops up and right here i want their email address and then they get their ebook actually it is automatically it's all set up the system it automatically sends them an email with a, and a pdf download and they get their book instantly i don't have to go in and say oh who signed up for the book it's all set up and all the emails now you're probably thinking well where do all these emails go they go to what we call an autoresponder an email collector you do not want to use your personal email or a free email account like gmail because you want to eventually accumulate emails up to the thousands um, so that you can start having a huge audience that you can sell your stuff to right that's what this is all about you can't sell anything if you don't have customers or an audience so what you need is what we call an autoresponder now there's some free ones out there there's one i think mailchimp is free i started out with that and then i went to another one that was cheap and then what happens is when you start out with these cheap ones or these free ones all of a sudden you're going to get an email list that is too big that that company can't handle it they will say oh we only um, you can only have so many or it only has these features and as you build your list you're going to want all those features all those bells and whistles and triggers and things like that which mean nothing to you right now but make sure you do your research and pick something that you can grow into many of them start out with an economical price maybe fifteen dollars a month and then as you grow your list then they'll start charging you more because obviously you're using their site more so the one i use is active campaign i have a list um, a, a link below if you want to check it out it's got a, a, tri a free trial okay also click funnels has a free trial if you want to check that out there's others out there though there's all kinds of other autoresponders other kinds of sale funnel software tools you don't have to get those that just happens to be what i'm using all right so that's one way of getting emails people opt in okay is really good with his website miles beckler you want to check him out if you're going to build a website but he right on his site i got something in the way here oh, all right on his site right away you come in and his opt-in is right there in front of your face he has opt-ins all over his website he has pop-ups you just saw the pop-up earlier um, when you hit that link that little thing popped up that's called a pop-up um, he also has different offers on his sidebar 
Um, you can see different offers. Let's go to this one. I'm going to go to his get my, I think on his blog page right there, um, right at the top, he has an offer. Some people will put their offers along um, all the way up here in the heading. As soon as you hit a page, you can see them in the sidebar. You can even see them in the footer. So everybody's putting their opt-ins all over their website so that people will see it and they'll click it. Now, obviously they're there. They're, they came to your website because you have a blog that they were reading. They have something that you're offering that they want. So obviously most websites are built where everything is interrelated. Like Miles isn't gonna have a recipe book, he shouldn't, on his website. He talks about affiliate marketing, how to build your um, business. And he, he does a lot with blogs. I actually know him more for blogging. He does a lot of YouTube videos about blogging and um, how to build your, your website. But these are most most people in business have affiliate links, but this is his key thing is blogging and, and, and helping you build your blog. So all over the place, he has his free thing. Get the free course from Side Hustle to um, one million dollars and seven simple steps. And, and that's his big thing. Now, the second way that you can build your email list is called Content Upgrade. And this is a guy named Neil Patel. And in his... On his website, if you go to any of his blogs, you'll see all these little links, okay? And basically what a content upgrade is, it's like, hey, here's some information. You came here, you searched for this, I'm telling you about it, but there's more. Hit this link and I've got more to share with you. And so what he does all the way through his blogs, he'll always have other articles you can read or if he's talking about SEO tools. I think if you scroll down here, he talks about long tail um, keywords. Um, he always has links all over it to take you to something else and it gives you more information. You could spend a lot of time in one of his blogs because he has a lot of um, segues where you can go off and read more about that content. But that's another way. Every time, remember, you're trying to get people to opt in and these are different ways that you're doing it where they're going to give you their email address. Ultimately, they're all opt-ins. Now, another one is a giveaway. So here, this one is um, Fuji Sushi Giveaway. If you click this link and join their contest, they have prizes and people will click it, get give the email and then hope to win a prize. Now again, you have to make it enticing, something that people want. But if you really wanna up your game and really get a lot of emails, think about giving away a tablet or something like that. I mean, it might cost you $100 or $200 to come up with a tablet, but wouldn't you sign up for a free tablet? Now, the only problem with that is you just may get a lot of people signing up that really don't want anything to do with your newsletter. So your quality of your subscribers may not align with what your niche, niche is. So be careful about just giving out, you know, wonderful things that everybody wants. So maybe think about something that has to do with your niche. If you're doing marketing online and you have, okay, I have an active campaign account where I have people sign up with their membership. That's an affiliate marketing link. I could give away six months free of a, a active campaign. Nobody wants that unless they're in marketing. So that's going to kind of weed out the people that have nothing to do with it. And it's going to attract people like, wow, I get six months for free. That's awesome. I'm going to sign up for that contest. And in the process, yes, it might cost me six times 15, $90, but in the process, I'll probably get a couple thousand people sign up because that's a good prize. I would sign up for that, wouldn't you? So I have all those emails and most of them align within my niche. All right, here's another one. Um, you can give uh, the big fat travel giveaway. Now you'll see a lot of people in giving away a free trip and you're like, well, how can they afford to do that? There, and I wondered about that. I thought, how are people giving away free trips? So I went ahead and Googled it and there is actually a link here where you can sign up as an affiliate, promote a contest to give away free trips. And for every person that signs up and 
takes the trip. There's different different parameters within the affiliate program, but you get paid because you've you've given that company some leads for their vacations. Probably um, once somebody takes the free trip, I'm sure they're upselling them and trying to get them to add more days or um, upgrade to a fancier hotel or things like that. So it's a win-win situation. The person gets the free trip, you get some money because they signed up and the the tri the vacation company it gets a win because they have new customers so that's how that works that's another great way to increase your your email list now here's another one um, webinars now again you're not going to go out and build a webinar today if you don't already have some a business built but I again I wanted you to be aware of all this to see how exciting it is all the different ways that you can build your email list. This person, um, Camille or Cami, she does a lot with website design. And if you go right to her page, right away it says start here, she pops up a webinar. It's an hour long. And a lot of people might go, oh, I don't wanna sit here for an hour. And, and that's fine, but guess what? She got your email address because you signed up to go to her webinar, which is all automated right? She's not sitting there live. Some webinars are live. People will tell you, this is a live one. I'm right here. I'm answering questions, but not all webinars are. They're automated and it just works for you. That's the exciting thing about these um, uh, the affiliate marketing and, and online business is a lot of this stuff is automated once you have it set up. Now you're sitting there going, I don't have a funnel. I don't have a blog. I don't have a webinar and I don't even have a YouTube channel. How do I get email without all those things? Yeah, I have a Facebook account, but a lot of times if you're out there throwing things on Facebook, Facebook will shut you down. It's, they don't want people doing that, by the way. <laughs> um, I, gosh, I went through a training about two years ago and the lady, the training was great. I was brand spanking new didn't know anything and I went through this training and she was showing us how to post in Facebook groups and all over Facebook are links and I didn't know it was spamming and I got shut down several times they kept calling it Facebook jail well no wonder um, you're not supposed to do that so I don't recommend it don't do that on your Facebook account there's other ways you can do it so how the drum roll right <laughs> how can you get 150 emails right now this is what i recommend now i only recommend this if you're brand new i don't recommend this if you've already got systems in place and you're already building up your account so one of the things it's called solo ads you can go out and buy ads now what does that mean i'm going to show you this this first this is where i went when i first started out it's it's a company and i'm going to give you the link below it's called solo ads okay um you would go in to one of these people and you look at are they in line with what you do some of these people will say i i have an email list of 400,000 people and i specialize in the healthcare industry and for and and i don't know what damien has here but i'm going to use him as an example for 74 cents for each lead that you email, I will send these to you. Now, how does that work? So you tell Damien, okay, I'm in the healthcare industry. I want a hundred leads. I want a hundred clicks into my um, little ad that I'm going to give you. You're going to send him something, tell him about your business. You can tell him about your opt-in offer, whatever they ask you for. Um, you have to have some kind of opt-in offer. Okay. Um, you can say, I'm going to send everybody this free PDF. And, and if you don't have a funnel and you don't have any of that, you can go to Google and set up a PDF link and just put it right in the email to start with and send that link and then they can get it instantly. OK, um, but here. For 74 cents a piece, you want 100, that's 74 dollars. He will run your little ad through his email list. And as soon as you get 100 clicks, it's done. Now, some of them will give you like 110, 120. Now, out of that 100, then you start looking at the percent of people that will actually opt in and give you their, um, you get all the emails. You have those. You get the 100 emails on your list. That's a given, guaranteed, okay? But from there, a certain percentage might opt in and take your free thing. Now, the, at the very least, what you need, what you have to have is an autoresponder. So, um, that's below make sure you get that before you do this because you have to have some place to collect the emails within that then you can send a reply to them once you get their email saying thank you 
and then you can send the free thing that way. And that's the easiest, simplest way if you don't have those other things in place. Now, just a moment ago, you saw me show you Facebook. There are ways that you can do this. You can go to Facebook. There's people that are in Facebook groups, um, solo ads, buying and selling group. There are, you can go in there and buy, you can go in there and sell. I did not do it that way. I did research it and I looked and from some of the people I listen to, um, some mentors that I've listened to said not to do the Facebook, but to go through this, uh, through a company. These people have been vetted. They wouldn't be here if they weren't honest and weren't doing what they say they will do. Because if they keep getting negative responses, see this person's got 31 negative responses there. I, you know, you might not want that person. Um, you want to go through and find somebody, this guy here, right here at the top that he's up here for a reason, right? He, he doesn't even charge the most, but you can open up and he'll, he'll tell you he has 90% of his leads that he'll give you that are on tier one, which is America, um, England and Canada, uh, Australia. Those are all tier one. Those are company. Those are countries that have a lot of money. They call them tier one. They're, that's where people like to spend money. Right. And, um, but if you go through, you can read all his, um, different testimonials and people will tell you, you know, I've been happy. This is what I've gotten, but anybody you want to hire in here, you'll have all that information about them. So that's how you can earn 150 subscribers or get them today. Yeah, you're buying them. And, um, I would recommend buying up to your first 2000. And then from there, that at least gives you a chance to get some emails in there. You can start focusing on writing newsletters to those people and then you can start setting up your other systems i'm also going to put at the end of the video here um, an email uh, um, video about how to set up your email account um, and so that can help you out there as well hopefully this was helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next video